Sean, the town says that some sort of remembrance will eventually be planned, but right now they're not sure what form that'll take. The fire Thursday afternoon at 189 Kearsarge Mountain Road in Andover started in a brush pile, according to officials. By the time firefighters arrived, a man was already dead. While the victim hasn't been officially identified, neighbors are mourning his loss. He did nothing but try to promote uh, the community, community spirit. Uh, anybody I think that met him, uh, he tried to help. Dan Bazan watched the emergency vehicles race up his road to his friend's house. He says the victim meant a lot to the people of Andover. He was just always there to help. You could always count on them in uh, any kind of emergency. Bazan's office is in a sub-community of Andover known as Potter's Place, where the victim was working to renovate some of the buildings. He was trying to get the storage facility uh, uh, across the, the street from me here working, and he was helping another uh, young fellow up here get a diesel mechanic business going. Bazan says one of the things he will miss most about his friend is his ability to find humor even under the most trying of circumstances. And the fact that he was someone you could count on. If I had to describe it, I always knew he had my back. The state fire marshal's office says the autopsy is scheduled for this afternoon. While the fire remains under investigation, the office says both the fire and the death appear accidental. Reporting live in Andover, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.